we have the DRC 446 Vivitar drone here. And what I'm going to show you is how to calibrate it, okay, and how to unlock it for usage, okay. Uh, the battery slides in here, okay, just like that. And red goes on to red here. I'm going to try and do this and still hold the camera at the same time. Actually not going to be able to do that, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we got the battery connected. We're going to slide it in. Okay, and get it all the way in. And then we're going to secure this back. Slide that up in there. And we're going to close it up. Now, when you, when you do this, okay... We're going to turn around to have it face us. When you do that, when you replace the battery, whenever you take the battery out and put it back in, then you have to recalibrate it because taking the battery out clears everything. The only thing I don't care much for about these drones is that Vivitar don't really give you a lot of support. They don't do a lot of how-to instructions. They do have two videos on how to do this calibration thing, but they don't really go over it in exquisite detail so we're gonna try and do that here okay uh here's the remote okay the remote control and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the drone on from underneath and when you do turn the drone on okay the lights underneath will start flashing okay as you can see then they go on solid and they just flash on and off, which means that it needs to be calibrated. So the first thing we're going to do now then is turn on the remote. Okay. Now that the remote is on, what we're going to do is we're going to program the remote to the drone. And we do that by taking this left throttle, pushing it all the way up bringing it back down and letting it come back to its original position. And you'll notice how the lights react when we do that. Now they go on straight. That means that the drone is in sync with the remote control. Now in order to calibrate the other portions, there's two other, two other portions that need to be calibrated in order for this thing to fly properly. The drone's internal gyroscope, we have to program that by taking both buttons and bringing them down to what I'll say is like 7 o'clock on the control. Okay, so we get both of them and pull them down. The lights flash, then you only do that for two or three seconds, then the lights go solid. Now that means the internal gyroscope is calibrated. Now the last thing that you need to do is to calibrate the, the aircraft compass. And in order to do that, up here on, on the remote, you can see it says calibration. So when you push that, okay... It beeps and the lights begin flashing. Then what you need to do is take with it facing you and turn it clockwise three times or so. And the red lights will come on steady. One. Now that's a half. One. Two. And as you can see, the red lights are on steady now. Okay. Now we have to do... The, we have to pick it up standing straight up and down like this. And then we're going to turn it clockwise like this. And after you do that three times, as you can see, the green lights come on. Okay. Now this drone is ready to fly. Okay. If you open up the app on your phone. Okay. And... 
when you active when you connect up Wi-Fi to the drone, then basically it will ask you if you want to recalibrate it. So you can do it from the app as well as from the remote control. But that's how you calibrate the thing. One thing I also forgot to mention was how do you unlock it, okay? How do you get it so that it's ready to take off with the remote control, okay? And the way to unlock it is by taking your throttle stick, pushing it all the way up, and letting it come back to the neutral position. And that'll start the motors running. See, that unlocks it, and it's basically ready to fly at that point. If you want to shut it down, then to relock it, just push down on the throttle and let it go back to the normal position and that will relock it. Unlock. Relock. Also, each time you turn the drone off and back on or turn the remote off and turn it back on, you have to program or calibrate the remote back to the drone. In essence, we're going to turn it on and as you can see, the light's going to flash. So in order to calibrate to get the drone to recognize the remote control, we do that by pushing the throttle button up all the way back down and back to neutral position. And as you can see, the lights, which were flashing on and off and on and off, are now solid red and green. 